Hi everyone, it's Ari here. I'm gonna do story time for everyone in everywhere. Today, I'm gonna read one of the story from this book. It's uh, The Calm Buddha at Bedtime by Dharmachari Nagaraja. This is a tales of wisdom, compassion, and mindfulness to read with your child. There's a lot of stories in here. I'm gonna pick one randomly. Which one is that? Ha! Huh. Alright. What is this? A. Bitanis bicycle. Bitani. Biten bicycle. Let's get started. Take a deep, relaxing breath, snuggle down, and listen carefully to this tale about a girl called Bitani whose birthday present caused a lot of trouble. Why do you think that was? Let's read the story and find out. Bitani had four older brothers and sisters, and they all lived together with their mother father and grandfather. Most of Bitani's clothes and toys were hand-me-downs from her siblings. One day, just before her sixth birthday, Bitani's grandpa promised that she would get something special all of her own that year. And sure enough, when she came downstairs on the morning of her big day, she found an exciting parcel in the kitchen tied with an enormous red Bow. Mm. The tennis and the birthday present. Grandpa's busy working in the shed, but he says you should go right ahead and open your gift without him, said Dad. The tennis tore open the paper to find the shiniest red bike she had ever seen. Wow, is it really mine? she said. Of course, said Dad. Bitani's brothers and sisters had been watching. That's not fair, roared Paula, the eldest of the five children. Mm, Paula, always grumpy. <laughs> Why does she get a new bike? I don't have one. It's not your birthday, said mom. Now take Bitani to have a go on it outside and make sure you don't go near any cars. But once they were outside, Gemma, Bitani's other big sister, grabbed the bike. Red is my favorite color and that means I should ride it first. Riley and Robbie, Bitani's twin brothers, pushed her out the way as they cased after Gemma. Case or chase? Chase? Uh, wait, cried Bitani, running as fast as she could after them all. Grandpa gave it to me. I'd like to ride it first. You can have a turn afterwards, she said, but no one was listening. I bet I'm the fastest ra ri rider, said Relay. I bet I'm faster than you, said Robbie. Please, said Bitani, can I have a go? No one took any notice. Relay snatched the bike from Gemma, leaped on the saddle, and whizzed off down the street with Robbie racing after him on foot. Come back, she cried helplessly as they all pelted away. She had lost her present already. Oh, yeah. I'd better go and thank Grandpa even if I never get to ride it. She sighed, sighed, sighed. Oh, like that. She found Grandpa in his shed. He was always in there making new things or mending old ones. Happy birthday, he cried as he saw her coming. Do you like your surprise? Oh, yes, said Bethany. I love it. But as she spoke, her voice wobbled and her eyes filled with tears. What's wrong? Grandpa put down his hammer. Bethany burst into tears. The others said it was unfair they had something so special. They've all gone off with the bike. I want to share it with them, but they won't even let me have a go. Oh, that's not right, said Grandpa. Gemma says the bike should be hers because she loves red. The twins say it should be there because it should be theirs 
because they are faster than me, she sobbed. <laughs> Paula says I'm spoiled. Hmm, you're not spoiled at all. It's your birthday and you deserve that bike, said Grandpa. They've all had nice presents from me on their own birthdays, birthdays in the past. I know what to do. Then he told Pitani his clever idea. With your help, I'll teach the others a bit of a lesson. He said as he headed out of the house and down the street. He found a bike lying on the street corner while Pitani's brother and sister stood nearby arguing over who should have the next go and who most deserved a new bike. He picked up the bike without any of them noticing and carried it back to his shed. That afternoon, after Pitani had blown out the candles on her cake and was happily scoffing a huge slice, Mom asked what had happened to her present. Well, said Pitani, as everyone started fighting over it, Grandpa took it back. What a shame, said Mom. Pitani shrugged. I'd rather have no bike than see everyone fighting over who should have it instead of me. The other children had stopped talking and were staring down at their plates. Oh, don't worry, said Bitani. Grandpa promised he'd make sure that by the end of the day, there would be no need for anyone to be jealous. Maybe we are all getting new bikes, cried Paula. Just then, the kitchen door opened. Grandpa came in, struggling with five carefully wrapped parcels in his arms. One for each of you he puffed open them up the children grinned but as they opened their parcels their expressions fell gamma had handlebars paula had pedals the twins each had a wheel and the tiny had a bell there was silence what's the matter said grandpa don't you like your presents you all thought it was so unfair that bitani got a brand new bike all to herself I thought I'd give you each a little piece of it. The children looked sheepishly at Grandpa. Wheels are no use on their own, said Riley and Roddy together. I can't, I can't ride just pedals, said Paula. And my handlebars have nothing to steer, said Gemma. Sorry for spoiling your birthday, Bitani, she said. One by one, they each placed the pieces of the bike at Bitani's feet. Please, can you put my bike back together again, Grandpa? She asked. An hour later, Grandpa returned with the shiny new bike all put together again. I'm afraid there's one thing missing, he said. What? asked Bethany in dismay. That! Grandpa smiled, pointing at the bell Bethany was holding. He attached it to the handlebars and handed over the bike. Happy birthday, he said. Thanks, Grandpa, said Bethany. You can all have a turn in a minute, she said to her siblings. But it's my go first. And with a ding of her bell, off she pedaled. <sighs> the moral story, moral of the story from this story <laughs> is being jealous about someone else's possessions will only make us sad a wise person knows to be grateful for what we have and to try to share it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again in my next story time for everyone in everywhere see ya